There's one new combination of strategies that I actually tested over there on a live streaming here on my YouTube channel. And I thought it was really, really worth it to give it a try, like being a lot more conservative and more importantly, to teach you guys how to use this combination of binary options to make money online. Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a perfect combination of binary options two different binary option strategies that can make you tons of money if you know exactly how to use them. So in this specific video, I'm going to give you the tips. But hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, Forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Right, everyone and for this specific combination strategy i'm going to be using pocket option which i consider to be the easiest broker to use with this specific combination strategy so if you want to use the exact same broker i'm having the link in the description of this video so that you can get a free demo account for up to 10 thousand dollars so that you can practice as much as you want to with this specific strategy so if you don't have a demo account yet then the link is in the description of this video all right everyone so before i actually jump into the actual strategy video i want to show you the first two trades that i place with this combination then of course i'm going to go ahead and give you a tutorial as to how to use this specific strategy so let's go ahead and take a look at the first two trades All right, so you guys can see that I actually started with a balance of $9,600, so around that, pretty much. So that basically means that I was able to make a total of $1,100 in pure profit in this specific combination session, which is absolutely good. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into the actual settings of this specific strategy, and later on, I'm going to show you the actual, the other traits that I was able to place with this specific strategy okay so this is how you're actually going to look at your pocket option platform by the time that you open your new account right so this is what it's going to look like so what you're going to do is actually going to go over here into this uh chart types menu right here and select candles when you select candles, you're going to see that by default, there's going to be a time frame actually chosen for you, but you need to choose the S30, which stands for 30 seconds. Good. Awesome. Then uh, what you need to do is actually go ahead and choose one indicator. So in order to choose the indicator, you're going to go into these three lines that you see right here, and you're going to jump and select the Kellner channel right here. Boom. Now, a lot of people ask me all the time, Chris, what is the multiplier on Kellner channel? Then you only need to select it in one. The style doesn't really make any difference whatsoever, but you can change the colors if you want to. I'm not going to change it. Then you're going to add a second indicator called stochastic oscillator, which is right here. Boom. 
And then you're gonna select one more indicator called RSI, which is right here, and boom. The RSI, you're gonna edit it, and at least that's what I'm going to do because the 50 period movement um, it doesn't really do anything for me. So yeah, and now you're going to actually extend this menu just a little bit. And here's what we are going to do. Let me just go ahead and get the pencil in order to explain it to you. Okay, so what you're gonna do is basically look for an oversold or overbought market. An overbought market in stochastic is when the price or these moving average lines actually move above the level of 80. Let me just go ahead and move my camera so that you can see, okay. So this is the level of 80. Whenever you see the moving averages of stochastic going up, going over this, this is an overbought market. Now, when you actually look at an overbought market in uh, uh, RSI, it doesn't necessarily have to go above the actual level of 70 that you see right here. It, as long as it actually touches it or gets super close to it, is a good entry point, okay? And an overbought market in Kellner channel is basically when the price goes over the actual Kellner channel level, okay? And the opposite is for the oversold market. This is an oversold market on stochastic. This is this could have been considered an overbought, oversold, I'm sorry, on RSI. And this is an oversold on Kellner. So basically what you're doing with this specific strategy is looking up for a combination of three different indicators telling you there is an oversold market. So right now, for instance, uh, let me just go ahead and enter a trade for a one minute and for, I don't know, 1%, just to give you an example. This is an overbought uh, market right here on Kellner, right? This is an overbought market here on Stochastic. And this is an overbought market here on RSI. So it is a good entry. The good entry would have been at this level, right? At the beginning of the candlestick. But you still see a huge drop uh, happening exactly right now because the market is actually basically telling you there is going to be a retraction in that specific pair. That's exactly what we're looking for with this specific strategy, a retraction, a fast retraction. Now, something super, super important is that the expiration time for this specific strategy has to be one minute. So we're looking at 30 second candles and we're looking at a one minute expiration. Why one minute expiration? Because in 30 second, in this 30 second candle, it might be that the overbought and oversold conditions don't get actually the retraction that you need, but with two candles, it will definitely happen. Right now, I just made a, a, a profitable trade and live in order to explain exactly how it works. Take a look at the last trades that I was able to place, you know, basically trading with this specific strategy. And uh, this is not only the trades that I'm going to show you, but it's basically a strategy that I have. Look, I've been using the two strategies, okay? The one minute strategy based on stochastic and RSI and the Kellner channel also, I used it. And both of them are super profitable. When, but when you combine them, it gets crazy, okay? It simply gets all crazy. And you're gonna realize that on the next two clips that I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other two videos where I show you how I place my other trades.
Okay, and one thing that you have to realize when you see the clip that I just showed you is that yes, I had multiple entry points in one single pair. Now, why multiple entries and how and when you're supposed to use multiple entry points? Very simple. Number one, you use multiple entry points when you have enough balance to risk several entry points. Okay, so if you notice, I didn't trade with 20, 50% of my balance on every trade. I was trading with even two, three or 5% at the most in order for me to like to, uh, how can I put it? To counter, to overcome the risk that I'm actually putting in, okay? So if you actually place two trades of 10% and you lose two of them, that's a 20% draw, drawdown, right? So what you get, what you need to be looking at is your percentage, you know, trades that you're actually placing. And as you can see right now, I place a trade for 1%, but I easily could have been like 5% and that would have bring it to 5 hundred dollars and so on so it's really up to you how much you want to trade with i would recommend you that if you want to place multiple entry points like i did you use at least at least one or two percent at the, the most okay super important uh second thing that you gotta be looking at on the uh uh in several entry points is basically when you see for instance this jump okay this jump right here right obviously you gotta enter out only if the three criterias are actually met but even when that happens sometimes we see spikes and you can enter a spike spike and then the price is going to drop all the way to this level but you're gonna end up winning at least two or three trades and if you play let's say four positions and you win three positions out of four and you're still in the profitable side does that make sense so you need to take several factors in consideration when it comes to actually having multiple entries but you guys saw the example that i use on the clips that i just showed you so, hey, I wanted to show you this specific strategy and hopefully you guys are able to use it the perfect way or improve it even the, uh, better than the way that I'm actually doing it right now. But if you enjoy the content of this video, make sure you smash the like button to support this YouTube channel. And more importantly, if you have any questions or comments to share, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer those comments as soon as I can. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you on the next one.